Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I was basically running out of things to do and things to upload. I have a lot of other stuff that's coming your way but that involves a lot more work so I just thought that in the meantime I would just do like a couple of quick videos that would just help create more engagement and what better way to do that than a reaction video because that's what YouTube is for now, right? <laughs> It's happened, we have become a reaction channel. But I tried to do this a bit differently. I thought I'm not going to do the usual that everybody does and takes the biggest, hottest song there's out there and you know, reacts to them, metal or otherwise. I thought I would channel myself more inwards and inwards being, you know, check out the stuff that's been coming out from the independent music scene in India. I thought that nobody else is really pursuing it at this point of time. So it would be a good thing to get into and bring some light, shed some light to the wonderful independent music that's out there. So today I am going to be reacting to a song by Anad and Tanner. They're an electronic duo that released their debut album, In Other Words, very recently. And this is one song that I just missed. I, I listened to the rest of the songs, but I missed out on this one and the name of the song is Asheville. I really like the name of the song. The song. Is that probably where Tanner is from? I might be wrong. Let's see what this has. It seems more like a filler track. I think it's an instrumental. So this is Asheville by Anad and Tanner. So the video is moving along with the song, right? That's, that's nice. Ooh! Oh, wow. Okay, so this is nice. This seems to me like one of those very minimalistic, evolving kind of tracks. Uh, there's a lot of Foley sound that I'm hearing that they're manipulating and working with. And that vocal sample entry is really interesting. You know, there's ARPs in between as well, which probably, if I'm thinking, showcases that it's moving towards something. But at 40 seconds in, the start's really interesting because there's the, the sounds are just so nice. And they seem to occupy like their own stereo space, which I think, you know, is down to the fact that it's just mixed really well. But I think it's also because these guys know really exactly what they want to put in and how many layers they want to work with and where they want to place that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of production stuff also happening over here, which I think is really solid. Uh, let's proceed. That's, that's that's amazing. So we have the first sort of element of any kind of rhythm with those percussion sounds, but they're like on the left and right both. So I, they have like this stereo space that is really nice. And again, it sort of demarcates an area for the percussion sounds and everything else is going on. The voice sample is sort of, you know, automating it and they've messed with it even further. And it's reverb tail is just beautiful. It sounds great. I love it when Mixers and producers can use reverb and delay really well and they've really done a solid job with this. Now I'm hoping there's an actual beat or some rhythm we can get along with that this song is now probably approaching because again, it just sounds like it's evolving on top of, you know, each other. Let's see. <laughs> I don't want to cut it off this early, but oh my god, that's an explosion of sound sound. I, wow. So we finally have the beat, and along with the beat, we have just everything. So we have like some solid low sub bass, and there's just so much stuff going around. But it still all, you know, has its own space in the mix, and it's all powerful now, and it's great. I, I'm loving this. Let's just continue. <laughs>
I'm going to stop right there. Jesus. So, usually I'm not really a fan of Indian instruments being, you know, put into other kinds of genres of music because I feel like in most instances they just seem to be too forced just so that the artist so the band can get that reach of listeners but come on that that sitar first of all sounds incredible uh and I wouldn't have expected that at all considering this is their instrumental track I thought that they had enough indian elements that were reserved for the rest of the songs and they would you know probably stick to more your usual synths or you know more ambient electronic sounds but this is incredible uh you have the arps just going from left to right panning on top you have these like weird scratchy sounds they've really experimented a lot with soundscapes over here and the sitar just like comes in with this fresh breath of air and just like sits on top of everything and it just sounds amazing and it has this amazing reverb tail oh, i'm loving it mcdonald's <laughs> so let's go uh let's listen for the we're like a uh, close to about 2 minutes in the track to this point 2 minutes in i'm well impressed that's incredible ha that was ashwell by anad and tanner on the internet they're called anad plus tanner <laughs> from the debut album in other words that was beautiful that was just that was just ear candy man speaking as not just an artist and musician but also as a mixing engineer and a mastering engineer this is just beautiful i love how it sounds this is indicative of two people who know the sound they're looking for and who know how to achieve that even if that means a lot of experimentation and messing with a lot of stuff that would give you you know interesting tones and interesting soundscapes um in situations that would probably normally not have those kind of sounds um and i think at the core of the entire composition this is still very electronic because if you think about electronic music it's it's mostly surrounded around the idea of loops and you know taking one specified loop and then doing more things with it and i think this is like the perfect example of that because it starts off with that road piano and builds on top of it and i thought that maybe that would go away after a point of time but that road piano is sort of your basic callback or you know your bass what you can probably call home in this uh composition that runs throughout the entire song and then you have all these other elements that come in and play their own roles be it a big role or a small role but all of them add this unique texture to the entire sound um i love it i'm really impressed by it um so what would i rate it i would rate this a solid 4 out of 5 this is a brilliant song and uh, i know that when people listen to these albums they mostly sort of you know forget the filler tracks but the filler tracks are sort of where i'm at because they really tell me the main idea that the musicians had behind the entire product and i think if this is an indication of how they've put everything together uh listening to the full album would be glorious for everybody out there um so i would highly recommend you go out check out their album it's called again in other words it, it's available on all streaming platforms and it's also available uh in full on their youtube channel um so yeah i hope you guys liked this video it's obviously different it's the first reaction video i've ever done 
But if you would like to see me react to more independent releases, let me know. If you're also an artist or a band that has recently put out a song or is going to put out a song and you want me to react to it, just send me a message and you know send me your song and I'll probably do a reaction video to that. If you guys like what you just saw, uh, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and if you're feeling a little bit special today, click that bell notification button so that you know every time I upload a video. Uh, other than that, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much.